We're here. It's the OG RGs. The OG RGs. Did you miss us? Yes, I heard the tweets. You did. I, We're back. If it felt weird. I mean, I feel like, I mean, we go through this sometimes when like our yeah. schedules are different. And yes. You're busy doing your thing. I'm busy mm-hmm. doing my thing and we make do. And, you know, shout out to our lovely guests that were able to fill in in yes. lieu of Stacy and I. Yes. Um, but it's good to see your face. It's great to hear your voice. Thank you. I know we haven't seen each other in a long time and I'm feeling long while. finally settled. And now you're back home and now it's just like it's time to have the OGs return. Isn't it nice? So you're, in a, oh, you're yeah. in a new apartment. This is new Stacy. New Stacy, new apartment. Got a new bike. She's ugly as all hell. I named her Barb. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's it's happening. I took bikes a, are great. Bikes Bike, are great. Bikes are such a great way to get around town. Yep. I'm hoping to lose some lbs. Um, because when you're hunched over on a bike, you're very aware of your side profile. Let me tell very. you. Very. I um I literally was just so I rode my bike down to uh, my hot Pilates class, and I was so hot in my class that I had to take off my shirt and I was in just like my sports bra. Right. And um, yeah, I was like, I was thinking about that when I was in the class. I was like, should I put my shirt back on for my bike ride because I don't think everybody needs to see what oh, all is please. happening right now. No, 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 no. It's true. Sad and true. No. Very sad. Very true. I put my shirt back on and I pedaled my ass back home. I didn't know that you also biked around Vegas. I thought you scooted. So, no. So, I do still have my scooter, but um, I don't use my scooter anymore. Um, A friend of ours, a colleague, I guess you would say, um, very unfortunately, his wife passed away on one. Oh, my gosh. And so, so, I will also say that mine would die a lot. So it was just sort of a bad omen. And ever since, um, it was Jim Ross, ever since his wife unfortunately passed away, uh, yeah, it just made us both be like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't use this anymore. It just felt like a bad omen. It For all, sure. It, it just had like a black cloud over it. Um, so I've not used my scooter in forever. And now that we're finally back home, um, yeah, John's like, we have to get rid of this thing. Now it just sits in the garage. But I will only use my bike We've got like a cool little like ravine bike path that you can go down, but then yeah, I'll just take right. it to like yoga and back because let's be honest, it's too hot here to do anything. I can only imagine. Right now it's okay, but uh, in a few weeks, no thank you. Oh, it's got to get so hot. Oh my God, so hot. So hot. Right now it's perfect though. Um, so it's lovely. But yeah, I'll ride my bike around here a little bit. But when we were in Birmingham, we got like um, a month pass to the little city bikes that they have there. So we were pedaling around Birmingham too, which we did in Toronto the best. when we were there as well. You used to use the city bikes. It was great. Yeah, it's, it's really like the only way to get around. Now my helmet, like they just had one color and I was like, I don't care. I just need a helmet. It is yeah. purple. Do I look like a 12 year old? Yes, <laughs> I do. Um, my first helmet when I was started biking around the city was light pink and it looked like the tip of a penis. That was oh me. My God. <laughs> I didn't realize I looked like the Stacey, tip of a penis. just the tip, McGonagall. <laughs> Honestly, uh, some guy pulls up beside my bike one night, and <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. And he was like, as he drove away, he was like, you look like a dick, and then drove away. And he was absolutely <laughs> <No>. correct. <laughs> <laughs> that he is absolutely amazing. correct. Yeah. I actually, um, once we're done with the pod here today, I have to go buy a helmet because I don't oh. have one. No, you got to get one. Um, I need a helmet and I also need a basket because I am going to be that person and I don't give a shit. Yeah. Give, I'm me, g- a, give me a I'm, basket. I'm going to get, I think I'm going to milk crate it um, on the back oh, of my bike smart. is what I think yeah. I'm going to do. I have how to. Do you, how are you going to fasten it on? Well, I was perusing um, other people's milk crates and they just have like those plastic ties, like pull ties. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to like get some pull ties from the hardware store and just like lock her in and then just get some cables for my backpack. And then you've got to get some like reflectors to put on that milk crate, yeah? Hell yeah. Just in case? Yeah, you have to. Hell yeah. Oh, making it very safe. And then like, Um, yeah. So Barb's going to get a big makeover. How, why don't you paint Barb? Give, well, give Barb a paint job. That's what I'm thinking because, um, yeah, I, I mean, I bought it at Canadian Tire, which is a Hell staple yeah. here Did in Canada. Did you use Canadian Tire money to pick it up? No, but I did get a bunch and I was like, can I just give this to you? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want this. <laughs> Not, um, I don't need, why, why does Canadian Tire money still exist? To explain to listeners what we're talking about, it's a store in Canada where you, it's a hardware store, but they give you like money 
their own money back to you. It's so like that's not even fair. It actually should be illegal. Really. Yeah, it makes absolutely no <laughs> sense. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, it's apparently final sale, which no one really told me till I was at the cash for the bike. So I was like, well, so I can't return it. it. So I think I'm going to like DIY or get some little spray paint on her. Yeah. Yeah. Make, make it a little project. You could really do Barb up. Oh, Barb's going to have a summer. Barb's like <laughs> out and about and ready to just mingle. Pedal her little <laughs> butt all around town. Oh, yeah. Show yes. her off. Yes. Pick up some bike tricks. Oh, yeah. And I will also say um, I bought them while wearing mom jeans that are non-stretch. Yes. And let me tell you, Ugh. mistake. Oh, try what? Wait, wait, wait! A mistake because of like testing out a bike in non-stretch mom jeans. Yes, you can't really. That's problematic. You can't get your leg over the bike. Um, no, it turns into full-on labiaplasty. Oh, it, it was like brutal. it's not okay. No, it's not. But I'm loving the mom jean. It really yep. cups my butt in a way that I'm excited. But um, cannot bend down. Cannot. Yeah. No, what? no, no. You have yeah. to walk in a straight line. Yeah. Uh, there's no sitting. There's None. definitely no like, like play time. Like you're not jumping around. No. You're not doing any exercises. Like no. It's it's yeah yeah. You've got to have a very low key day in your mom jeans. I don't regret the mom jean, but it certainly is a different way of life. It's yeah. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a choice. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I was thinking about that because we're going to a concert tonight. Um, a friend of mine who plays in Sum 41, they are playing here. So no I'm go visit him. way. Yeah, we're going to see Sum 41 tonight. Um, so they're playing at the Brooklyn Bowl in Vegas. And I haven't seen That's... Jay uh, Cohn, if you are a Sum 41 fan. Um, he is married to one of my best friends. Um, so we're going to go see them tonight. But I'm like, I'm going to wear my mom jeans tonight. I haven't worn them in a little while. But I'm going to be standing. It's oh, yeah. It's a perfect place to wear mom jeans is to a concert. I agree. Now, are your mom jeans are Levi's, right? Yeah, yeah. The okay. Le- I've, I've got like the Levi wedgie, whatever the F. Yeah, so mine are from Topshop. Um, but it's for li- really funny that you're bringing up Sum 41 as that has been a huge topic of conversation at Second City with my cast. Why? Blink-182 and Sum 41. Um, <laughs> what I'm- a summer. Summer jams, you know? Oh, well, we just keep yelling like, who are you? <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> like Blink-182. What? Yeah. like? Yeah. And what was the lead so, singer of Sum 41? Derek? Is he still Derek in that? Derek Yeah, of course. He, he's a lead singer. He's got to be. I, though I don't know like what version because like Jay's there. Uh, Derek, I think um, Dave, who was the guitar player, I believe he's still there. But I don't know if like Steve-O is still the drummer. I'm not sure. Steve-O? Yeah, he was like the drummer. He, the same Steve-O, Steve-O as Jackass no, as Steve-O? No, but they kind of look a little similar. No, his name's like Steve Yachts, I think. There's two Steve-Os in the entertainment world? And believe it or not. Yikes. There is, yeah. Um, so but they're, so it's their, I think it's the 15-year anniversary of Does This Look Infected, which is like the, al- the good album that it, we all listened to in the summertime 15 years ago when Whoa. we were just youths. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Now old. Yeah, now, now we, we are all... all old. I'm looking it up because I think it's 15 years. I don't want to give misinformation or like plug the wrong thing. Yeah, 15. Jeez, right. good for them. So we're gonna so go tonight, old. and we're gonna we're gonna party in mom jeans. I'm gonna make John wear some too. He doesn't have a choice. Oh my god, that's crazy. No, that's that like would... very high school. Are you gonna have a Smirnoff Ice too? Stay up past your curfew. <laughs> I might as well. But maybe they'll have peach schnapps. Ooh, wee. That might have been my move back then. Fifteen years ago, I, I was seventeen. Uh, oh God, yeah, peach schnapps would have been my move back then. Ooh, or like yeah. a rev, a rev. Yeah, I was a rev. A, Revs were good. I was a cooler gal. I loved a Smirnoff. I loved a Woody's. If those were even oh still Woody's, around. Woody's grapefruit. That yeah. was the jam. Yeah. The thing about Very Woody's good. was like it was thick. It was like a very thick juice. I don't remember that. I don't remember it being thick. Oh, you know, you puke it up (laughs) enough times. You remember the texture quite vividly. And I will never have a Woody's again. I'll Um, take a Smirnoff, but go on. Speaking of puking, I almost had an episode yesterday. Why? I I, I puke a lot. Let's just get that out there. I'm a big puker. No. It's horrible. I can't stop. I also realized... um, a few weeks ago that I am allergic to escargot, which led to much more vomiting. Um, But this story uh, was yesterday. So I was texting with you because you were asking when we were... Let me start that sentence again. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> you were asking when we could yes. record. Yes. And I was on a plane home. So yes. yesterday... So, okay, so we just got back home to Vegas, and then uh, Raw and SmackDown was in Albany and then Worcester, Massachusetts, so I flew out of Boston. The flight from Boston to Las Vegas is truly the most painstaking, Why? heartbreaking, piece of shit flight of my because it's like six hours. Yipes. That's it's too long. It's six hours. It's truly horrible, and I just like wasn't ready for it. I had like two hours sleep because my flight was at 6 a.m., um, and for some reason I thought if I got up at 4.30 and got to the airport by 5, which gives me the hour to check in, that I would have been fine, but I actually didn't get to my terminal until about 5.30. So I missed my flight because I had to check my bag. If I didn't have to check my bag, I would have been fine. Missed my flight, was devastated because now I have time to kill before getting on this piece of shit flight. Right. Had to buy a new flight for $371. Oh, God. um, To fly United, which is a garbage airline. Um, My seat was at the very, very back of the plane. I was 37A, one seat away from the toilet. Oh, Um, I was sitting next to a couple that like, I don't know what her deal was, but she had this bracelet where she kept checking her like her uh, blood pressure every what seemed like every 10 minutes on a five hour flight. Yeah, it was insane. They were like arguing and whispering. I was trying to sleep the whole time, but I had a headache as if I had been up drinking wine all night, which I was not. Shocker. Um, No, I was not. And I, I just had such a bad headache terrible turbulence and at this point so my flight got changed from eight o'clock connect in newark then go on to vegas i wasn't gonna land here till one by the time we were landing there was so much turbulence and i had such a headache that i just started sweating i was like this is it i'm going to use the puke bag on the plane no. and be that person i thought for sure i was going to i'd like close my eyes and like you know when like you're gonna vomit and you just yes. start glistening Everything gets like hot and cold and like yep. then I'm panicking thinking about what it must like when you're waiting to get off the plane and yeah. you're at the very back and it's still like another 20 minute process to get off. I thought I was going to have a panic attack. Um, yeah, it was no good. I did not puke, but the crazy girl next to me did get up and puke. No, um, it was a whole situation. So I like messaged John when I landed. I'm like, I need you to come rescue me yeah. right now. Come save me in a chariot help a sister out i yeah i got off the plane and i still thought john was driving and i was like pull into this walgreens parking lot because i thought that i was going to puke in the in the parking lot it was oh my nuts. god yeah it was really bad i just felt like pure dog shit Jesus. those flights don't take coast to coast flights you guys break it up it was yeah. awful oh my god and here i am complaining uh, to you that my vitamix needs to get shipped for like two weeks no no that's no joke either let's not let's not uh no, but i mean sell that that's a big deal no but when i feel like i do not like to puke i will fight it forever and always <sighs> i will sit and be nauseated for hours yeah um but that is uncomfortable Oh, it was so bad. And then there was also a medical emergency on the plane. Oh, wow. So it took even longer to get off the plane. I just had to like sit there and like hail Mary my way up to the front at the end. I was like, get me off of this goddamn plane. Oh, God. And then I hit Starbucks and I had um, soup with a bunch of sodium in it. So I was all right. Then you're fine after that. But wasn't your car, I saw you on Instagram, wasn't your car there for like a month? It was so expensive. Oh, my God. I died. So... I was supposed to, I came home, I was home for 24 hours, I had to get my passport, because I didn't realize we were going to be gone that long, had to come home to get my passport, uh, because I was going up to Canada for TV shows, and we were out in London, so I was literally home for 24 hours, and my flight was at like 5 in the morning the next day, or I had to be picked up at 5 in the morning, so I had my Uber, they were on their way, I'm packing all my shit, cutting it close again, because it's a fun thing that I like to do to myself at 5 in the morning, and uh my Uber canceled on me. And Why? I was like, I don't know. He canceled. And I was like, the other one was 10 minutes away. I was like, if they cancel on me too, I'm screwed and I won't be able to check my bag again. Um, this is, I guess this is a recurring problem for me. Yeah. Um, so I was like, all right, F it. I've just got to drive myself. And then, yeah, I went to pick up my car on Saturday last week. And yeah, $457 or $459, Jeez. whatever it was. It was a tough pill to swallow, but I knew it was going to be a lot. I just had to... I had to deal with it. It sucked. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, it was like salt in the wound. It yeah, really got me. It you just got to throw. Pissed. Yeah, you got to throw money at it sometimes. That's just. You have to. 
Jesus Christ. I was in a spot. I was in a spot. Oh, God. I was in a freaking spot. Um, You know who? Oh, oh wait. What? We Should we what? do our first sponsor? Yeah. I'm going to get into another story, but let's do our first sponsor. Yeah. Do you guys uh, You guys want to talk about our first sponsor? Uh, Brooklinen. <laughs> yeah. Brooklinen. You guys, what? what a oh. what betting. Oh, my Just God. Just the best. I honestly uh, so, love it so much. Anyways, go on. Here's what I will say. One of my favorite things about being home right now is that I can change my sheets whenever I want because I'm not in a hotel. Yes. What a treat. So now I get to put my Brooklyn in bed sheets back on my bed. Nice. Um, okay, so here's the deal with Brooklinen. They were founded in April of 2004 by husband and wife team Vicky and Rich Fullop. Fullop. Did I that right? Fullop. Fullop. Yeah. Uh, so their philosophy is that the most beautiful, comfortable home essentials with no crazy price, because most bedding is actually marked up as high as 300 percent, which yeah. is absolutely crazy. Why pay these extra fees? Um, and Brooklyn is the fastest growing bedding brand in the entire world with over two th- or 20,000 five star reviews. And they were actually named the winner of the best of online bedding category by Good Housekeeping. It's a big deal. It is. And there's so many different colors and patterns you can mix and match. I have dark sheets with a nice light duvet. I feel like a real like real lady. It's real like very nice. lush. Uh, it's, it is, and once you wash them, I swear they get even softer, which I didn't think was yeah. possible, but they are. So uh, Brooklyn and Sheets are the best and most comfortable sheets that we've ever slept on, and they have yeah. an exclusive offer for you guys and gals listening to Regular Girls, so you will get $20 off and free shipping when you use our promo code REGULAR at brooklinen.com, and they're so confident that they're going to offer uh, everyone a risk-free 60-night satisfaction guarantee and a lifetime warranty on all of their sheets and comforters, which is Wow, they're not messing around. No. Brooklinen does not play. No. This is all serious business. <laughs> yeah, so the only way to get $20 <laughs> off and free shipping is to use our promo code REGULAR at brooklinen.com, and that is B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Our promo code is REGULAR. Brooklyn and they are the best sheets ever. They are. I'm going to put mine on today, actually. It, that really is like, what what a thing to like even think about. So when we were at the hotel in uh, in Birmingham, we had the dog with us, obviously. Blue was right. with us. But we couldn't get the maids to come into the hotel like they would normally in a hotel right. because the dog was in there. So we'd have to like pick and choose moments, take Blue out for a walk or take him to the park, whatever. Right. And they just like never changed our sheets enough shit pissed me off yeah you got to do that and that's the half that's half the reason you like a hotel change the sheets i know exactly clean up for me so i don't have to do it but no i would i would swiffer on my own uh i had like a little mini dustpan i mean they were they were lovely at the hotel but the maid service could use a kick up well let me tell you this i live above a sex shop and oh um, my god yeah did and I, you have a dick helmet look at you and go. i have a dick helmet i know the <laughs> way sexuality is just creeping into my life um but yeah. they're really really cool but um they're so nice downstairs but i have to um like i ordered a little tiny like vacuum and i guess they took the parcel just being nice and i had to like go in and there was like this super <gasps> cool girl like she's like in this almost see-through top no bra like two nipple rings like super okay. cool i'm dressed up because i had to I hate to brag about it play a goose for a commercial and oh so i was wearing a, a lot of polka dots and quirkiness but i was like hi um anyways we're fast <laughs> friends and she gave me my vacuum but um yeah, What's I'm, her name? Does she have a cool dude name? No, but I have to go back in and like talk to them about garbage receptacles. So I think we're going to become fast friends about the content yeah. I'm bringing to the table. Very Maybe nerd-like. Maybe they might open up your life to some new interesting sex things. But here's the thing. It's not just any sort of sex shop. It's a bondage shop. Oh, wow. Okay. It's like, so. 50, it's like a 50 shades. And what's crazy is is there's like a lot of like nerd hipsters going in there. It's not really. Oh yeah. Interesting it, clientele. It's very like, like this like nerd couple came out and they were both like holding tiny little espresso cups and they were like, should we lunch? Like after they bought like bags of bondage. Good for them. I'm into it. Listen, Good for them. Sometimes you just got to like pep it up a little bit every now and then. Got to. Hey, you, you don't knock it till you try it. Maybe it's great. Maybe it I don't is. know. We actually just watched um, the newer or the last Fifty Shades movie. Oh, really? Dakota Johnson. It. <sighs> I have no Listen, time. I, I I actually like. I'll tell you one thing. She's got a great little bod on her. Though. Oh, I'm not saying she's not stunning, oh, but the the cho- she looks great. Ugh. She's boring. But that that movie sucked so bad. Of course. 
It, I know, but like, we, so we've, we watched the first two and we're like, all right, let's get into these and like enjoyed them enough. The third one, I don't even know what happened. They were like fighting crime and rescuing people. I'm like, where's, take me to the red room, get to the red room, teach me some things. And I learned nothing from the film. Get to the red room, red rum. Oh, geez. That's a different No, movie. I can't. I can't deal with it. I'm not interested. Um, oh, you know, are we going to get into what we wanted to talk before I even forget? I was going to go into my big tangent um, because I just watched Dakota Johnson in a movie. Um, what the hell was it called? Forget it. Let's talk about Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this movie with Dakota Johnson, like just like in the background on Netflix. And I was like, this movie sucks. And she's so. What was it? I, it'll come to me, but. Oh, okay. She was I, just terrible. It wasn't I'm, good. Yeah, I'm looking at my Netflix history as we talk about Meghan Markle. We wanted to talk about. Oh, was it like that Girls' Night movie? Or yes, whatever? yes, it was Girls' okay. Night. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I oh. remember seeing the trailer for it. Yeah, I just like listen when your your mom's Melanie Griffith, your dad's Don Johnson. Let's like let's be a little more over the top, sister. I mean, and it's also embarrassing that I watch Girls' Night. That I, you know, anyways, it's but it was bad. It was bad. Well, now, we won't watch it. Hey, you know what I did watch? It's cute. That is on Netflix is The Kissing Booth. Have you seen it? No. Who's in that? It's, um, gosh, I can't think of her name. There's like a young girl in it. Uh, I, you know what? Even if I said her name, I don't know if you'd know who she was. But I've seen her in stuff here and there. Oh, really? Um, at first, the movie was like slightly off-putting because the acting was not very good. Right. Um. And just like the relationship seemed forced, but it's like this cute little love story. And I, I really love, I love a good rom-com with a happy ending. And like it Me had too. a happy ending in like a, a not necessarily traditional way. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I watched it on a plane and you, you know, when you watch something on a plane yeah. and your like perspective is somewhat different. So For if sure. you guys watch it on a full screen TV and it sucks, I'm sorry, but I enjoyed it on my phone. I tried to watch Anniversary with uh, Noel Wells and Ben Schwartz. Terrible. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping for a nice little rom-com. No, terrible. Terrible. Um, now, I've been watching a lot of Hallmark ones um, because oh, I want to be in a Hallmark movie, so I've been doing a lot of my research. You're I manifesting. Got the app and everything. You know, I am I'm, manifesting. <laughs> I am auditioning for a movie of the week. I'll tell you this. <gasps> yes. La- later this what week. What is it? Um, I didn't really read it too much. I think there's a spy involved and I just play uh, the girl's best friend who's like, you better be careful, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Listen, I got I it. you right now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, right now. I think so. I think that's what I'm born to play on a movie of the week where I'm like, I don't think you should date him. I don't know about him. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this is a good idea? Yeah. Honestly, Crystal, honestly. Yeah, that's going to be me in a Hallmark movie. Maybe I'll be your counterpart in your Hallmark movie. Oh, my God. That would be brilliant. Yeah, it'll just be going. I would love that. Yeah. I don't know. And I have like a quirky little apartment. I'm always watering a plant going like, you've been (laughs) acting different. Have you met someone? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, okay, vibe. Meghan Markle. Let's, Let's talk get about Meghan Markle here. Oh. Um, so I'm on uh, the list.com right now. Yeah. Um, because there's a whole list of things that she can no longer do now as the Duchess of Sussex. Crazy. Which is a little hard to say. Um, says here she sold her home in Toronto. I wonder where her house was. I wonder that too. Also, I have some intel because I'm a creep. I found out where she worked out. Oh. And she did Legree, Pilates Legree, which is what I did in LA, which is like this yeah, crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's tough. Ex- yeah, tough, tough. But she had a bang is very bod. hard. Yeah. Um, you know what I like about her bod? And so, like, her first dress, like, the dress she actually got married in was boring. very ho-hum to me. Yeah, me but too. But the second dress, Stunning. loved. But what I really loved was the accentuation of the collarbones. What a good piece of your body to showcase. She had such, she has such a nice bod. But, yeah, the first dress, I was like, whatever. The tiara was whatever. Yeah. Um, it looked odd, like it was falling off. Um, it sounds like I'm really going in on her. Uh, but yeah. uh, I just thought it was whatever. Yeah, the second dress though I did love, and them driving oh. off in like the whatever that fancy old car was yeah. was nice. And let's all just be happy that he has a great head of hair. Although I was talking about this with friends, apparently he's going bald. So I'm looking no, that up right now. really? Yeah, I'm gonna look it up right now. But um, the I royalty love... they can fix this. I that's what I also said. I'm like. 
if I was Prince William, you best believe I'm getting plugs. You best believe. Listen, pull the LeBron James. Put on a double headband while your hair plugs are setting in. Yeah. And then move on with your life. I don't understand. And we've talked about this with Brittany. Like, she's got dog shit extensions. Oh, when yeah. When she's super rich, get your hair right, girl. Get it but I was right. Watching a mo- I was watching a movie that was on the hotel the other night that was like a, a John Travolta movie. I couldn't believe his, like insane hairline you're john travolta get oh, yeah. better plugs have you seen what that video F? of him dancing to, with uh, 50 cent at can no oh my god it's embarrassing i'll send you the clip it's him with 50 50 cent 50 i said 50 because um i don't think i'm allowed to say 50 but <laughs> <laughs> um Fitty. and yes harry is going bald at the back for sure yeah, I can see it in this picture, actually, now that you mention it. Um, okay, so here's a list of things that the Duchess of Sussex can no longer right. do. Right, okay. She can't take selfies, which you know what? I like that rule. I Me think too. She, I think if she was taking selfies, uh, it would seem very odd and very common, right? Yeah. So she can't take – apparently it says the rule was created to encourage people to make eye contact and make conversation with the royals instead of turning their backs to them to take a selfie. Oh, wait, so she can't take selfies with fans or right. just like a solo selfie? Both. Is it both? Okay, both. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, it says, I. yeah, she essentially saying I miss eye contact. I get it. Okay, I like that. No autographs. No, yeah, no more signing autographs. That seems odd. Yeah. A little bit. Well. I mean, what, what, what harm, right? Yeah, but no social media. So she apparently had her own lifestyle blog called The Tig. The Tig? Yeah. And now it no longer. She so she take- can so that that counts as that counts as social media other than like Instagram, Twitter. So yeah. Imagine she, just seeing her like on Snapchat and filters with Harry. I would watch it. Well, here's the thing. I mean, I would too, but also she had um an Instagram and was like really like active on it. And so a lot, yeah. a lot of people have ripped those images and you can find well, them. Well, because she, because I know that there was a thing before that she had to go in and like clean up her social media too like I think like a lot of pictures were deleted there if it was like a bathing suit shot or whatever like that stuff all had to be yeah. tidied up yeah. tidy it up um uh what's the one I'm reading right now the voting is out she can no uh she can't vote anymore what? uh no dark nails yeah That's no weird. dark nails it's weird that she can't vote like what what do you what yeah I feel like I mean yeah, it says uh, she must remain strictly neutral with respect oh. to political matters. Well, okay. I guess that makes sense now with her new title. And I mean, when you look at like what royalty is as opposed to politics, I guess yeah. it's like that juxtaposition's odd okay. and like very swaying. Right? Right. She can't. So she can only wear like nude nails. I'm, I hate to bring that up again. Who? No, but that's all right. I mean... Uh, I mean, I, I just like a new nail anyway, so that wouldn't be the end of the world for me. I love a red nail. I'd be like, what? Uh, no traveling without mourning clothes. Ever what since, are mourning clothes? Ever since the King George died while the then Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip were in Africa and had to travel back to England in regular clothes, it is imperative that all royals always travel with a set of funeral clothes in order to be respectful. They Oh, they always travel with funeral clothes? Yeah, just in case someone dies and they have to like head back somewhere. Wow, that's morbid. Yeah. But like, I get it. Like, I was like the just in case, but like, I feel like that should be somebody else's responsibility. Oh, I'm sure it is. Oh, let like, I mean, these rules, it's not like she's going out the door going, purse, keys, funeral clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's no way. (laughs) Like, Like, there's got to just be, like, some kind of trunk that travels around and that has their essential bullshit in it. Yeah. Not bullshit. Death clothes. It's called the F trunk. Yeah. The (laughs) funeral trunk. (laughs) No more bare legs. Yeah, she has to wear freaking tights. Pantyhose. Ugh. That would mess me up. I would hate that. That's terrible. Pantyhose suck. You never see a royal without their nude stockings. That's diapy, tough. diapy, absolutely. I hate, t- especially nude tights. Yeah. So ugly. They get a run in them. Jeez. Uh, um, there's one that says curtsy time. The queen expects female family members, including Kate Middleton and Camilla, to curtsy when they enter a room in her presence, even when it's an informal occasion, which Hell means yeah. M- Megan better get used to the curtsy. I like that. You know what? The queen is a sassy bee. I like it. I know, but it's also like if it's just a casual dinner, they have to still curtsy. It's like, what? 
I'm kind of into it. I know it's messed up, but like it's a tradition. She's got to, she's got to ma- she has to maintain her position as the matriarch of all of England. Especially her freaking family. Oh, God. It also says... Get in line. It says the queen disapproves of hemlines higher than an inch or two above the knee. So regular female visitors like Kate, Camilla, Princess Beatrice are already aware of the fashion stipulation. So, like, she can't wear, like, little... Which I'm like, this is just an old lady being like, in my day, I dresses to the floor. So, like, if say, like, when they go on their honeymoon, well, I guess, like, that would just be like, super private, but, like, she can just get away with wearing, like, some cutoffs and a bikini or no? Well, I might be saying this wrong, but I know that, like, pics were circulating about Kate and Will on vacation, and I don't know if she was, like, topless or skinny dipping or cool. was, like, or was in a bikini. I hope she was skinny dipping. Me too. I, would, I, I, I feel like Kate Middleton needs to step up her game a little bit. I know. I know. No offense, girl, but but listen, I bet you Meghan like, Markle's in town. She's she's doing it. I might argue she's breaking that, rules, but I think Meghan might be boring. I'm sure she is. I mean, she can't be that cool. And there's like, who was friends with George Clooney that he got the invite? By the way, I know, right? Oh, okay. Um, Kate's bod. Jeez, Louise. Show. Put your phone to the the thing. I, I need show- to see this. Oh wow. She's. Let me see. Let's get this correct. She's got a tight little bod. Oh, does she ever? She's got like a runner's bod. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she looks like she runs a lot. Um, another rule here is that it's best not to go to bed before the queen. Oh, yes. Uh, there'd be an hour or so in the sitting room for everyone sitting around making conversation and nobody felt it right to go to bed before the queen did. Um, it's It's considered rather bad form, which that makes sense. I mean... You've got to uh, – if you, also, the queen is 100 years old. You better stay up later than the queen but unless you're sick. See, that's, that's the thing. It's like, hey, listen, I'm going to go to bed whenever I want and you can go with your corgis and go to bed whenever you want. <laughs> so fuck you. Um, but doesn't the queen have like – she has like gin every night, right? Yeah, but it's also like the fact that her life is now dictated by an old crotchety granny who's like – like um, – no wedges the queen despises wedge shoes so you have to get rid of wedges it's like you know like that's she's crazy like, isn't she in her 90s yeah that is i mean let, the, why a wedge since when are wedges offensive and it's like meal time is at 8 30 if you're dining with the queen megan should be prepared to always eat at 8 30 and dinner will be over by 10 the queen is known for strictly adhering to her royal schedule Wow. I mean, she's been the queen for a long freaking time. She's not budging for anybody. I don't want to eat at 8.30. No. Eh, I don't know. Sometimes I like a late dinner. I'm not so opposed to it. Um, apparently, she's not in – they're not allowed to play Monopoly. What? Um, okay, I'm just – I'm reading this, like, as I go. I did not read this before we started this uh, podcast, so this might be false, but it says um, – Oh, no. Mine says this, too, this list. It's, oh, really? It's on yours, too? Yeah. Monopoly is probably one of the worst games aside from risk. Of course, Monopoly is really only fun if you win. And really, does anybody play along or play long enough to win? Apparently, Queen, Queen Elizabeth shares a sentiment too. Um, son, uh, Prince Andrew, son of the Queen, brought, bought the popul- popular game to headquarters of the Leeds Building Society because he's literally not allowed to play it back home. Gets too vicious, huh? All right, well, take that. Hmm. And then obviously, no more acting for Meghan Markle. She's just on Duchess duty. Jeez. Well, it says, where's another one? At a royal family gathering, Meghan will always be sat next to Prince Harry. So there's All no. Right. Um, no oh, there's funny a, business. There's a strict code of conduct for how to enter a room when you're with the royals. Here's the order. Queen Elizabeth, Prince Philip, Prince Charles, Camilla, Prince William, Kate Middleton, and then Harry, and then Meghan. Okay. That makes sense. And you can't eat before the queen or after the queen. Uh, that would, uh, yeah. What about like if just bread comes to the table? If she doesn't eat it, you can't eat it. And also, it's like, I mean, when my grandmother was alive, like, when she was like, they don't eat anything. They don't eat anything. Grandmothers don't eat anything. She eats a cracker and she was like, I'm stuffed. I'd be like, yes. Excuse me, woman. I'm starving. Yeah. No way. No. Older people don't eat anything. No. My mom's starting to get like that. I'll go, like, go eat something with my mom and she's like, I'm full. Like, what? You're, what's going on? I don't get Geriatric it. Geriatric stomachs. I'm wondering if she's like struggling. I mean, these rules aren't whatever. They're not crazy. But I'm wondering if she's like, like I do wonder now what her her life is like. 
Though, I mean, I feel like I'm sure Harry, Harry seems like he's a good time. I'm sure he's probably like, hey, you know, like when we get married, it's going to be this, this, and this. Like, I feel like they must be somewhat in on the gag that they know it's somewhat ridiculous, but they just have to like adhere to the rules. Yeah. You think? Yeah. I think they like, it must be like kind of funny. Like maybe they like have like a little snort laugh under the table when like something stupid happens like that, you know? Well, I I can tell for sure. I mean, I can tell for sure who am I to even say, but I watched clips of the wedding and I was like, oh, they for sure like are into each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, without question. More so than William and Kate. Like, I was like, oh, no, Harry and Meghan get down. They get down, get down. Yeah, yeah, they probably, uh, they probably, they they would, they would go to the little sex shop by your house and get some stuff. Yeah, we're all fine. They party. Yeah, they party. They party, party. They party. They party 100%. But it's interesting because Meghan, like, her first interview, like, I mean, she was in a, she was on a TV show and she was, like, an actress. I'm wondering if she's, like, if she's like okay to not be an actress and is like loving being just like famous. Like we were, I was talking about that with some friends. Like what, could you easily give up what you're doing? And I'd be like, yeah, I mean, if you're not super into like acting or whatever and you just kind of want the fame and the success, I'd be like, no problem. Bye. Well, I think like, well, like you said, it does seem like they are legit into each other. And I mean, who's going to, Pass up the opportunity to go be the Duchess of with the fun prince. But she's giving up her whole life. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything. She has to become a new person. Yes. Everything has to be new. And I'm just curious if she's like struggling with that a little bit. You have to. It's it's like a, it is like the utmost culture shock. It has to be. She has to sell her home. She has to say goodbye to her friends. She now has to like wear friggin' pantyhose, eat at 830 and like Ugh. can no longer fall asleep until the queen does. Like that's but, like, crazy. How often, I, I wonder how often they have to go and have dinner with the queen. I bet you it's more than you think. And I also wonder like where do they live? What's their house? Like They live in Kensington situation? Palace. Like a wing. Oh, they have, they're like in a way. So wait, they all like live together? I don't think so. I think William and Kate live somewhere else. Here, let me look this up while we're talking. Oh, let's talk about yeah, our next I'm not sponsor. Really sure. Okay, and let's then... do our next sponsor while we're talking about how fun uh, Kate, or wait, <laughs> not Kate, uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are. Um, Lola. Yeah. Let's have a little chit chat about Lola. Um, okay, so here's the thing Lola is known for its line of period products made with organic cotton and they've just launched a line of sex products you heard Yay! it first Megan and Harry this is for you <laughs> this is for you guys and you can also let the people know below you at the sex shop I'll all let them about know Lola I'm gonna so absolutely Lola Lola is a brand founded for women by women Which is and awesome. Lola's founder saw an opportunity to create sex products made with women in mind and specifically formulated to help maintain vaginal pH that is key you don't want to mess around with that ph you don't i've been researching it not no no you don't it's bad news bears if you don't mess around with that so the sex by lola line is available for uh for one off purchase or subscription i love when companies have subscriptions it's amazing get on like a one two three month deal however it works for you guys Mm -hmm. Uh, but you can um add uh Add to your period subscription so everything is conveniently delivered to your ideal schedule. So you get the lube. The lube is a gynecologist-approved hypoallergenic formula specifically designed to help maintain vaginal pH. And it's wow. formulated without syn- synthetic fragrance or flavors found in other brands. You don't need anything flavored or scented no. around your no. vagine. It- Protect Don't do her. it. Love her. Yes. She doesn't want that yes. around her. Get it away. Guard her. Guard, Guard her. her. Uh, they also have wipes which is the first all natural wipe made from bamboo base and formulated with natural preservative systems individually packed for easy use on the go if you're going to the gym traveling and again it's got uh how did you say it gynecologist i totally forgot how to say that word oh my god (laughs) uh approved and it's hyperallergenic so um the wipes are great yeah well wipes are life changing i love a wipe i love a wipe no one talks about that enough, but like a wipe, a wipe can really change your day. Really, just oh gives my you- god, yeah, 
it, it, it they're game changers. They also have condoms too. You get 12 per box for $11. Uh, they're ultra thin lubricated condoms are made of natural rubber latex and individually tested for contraception and STI protection. Which is amazing. Uh, they're all, yeah, they're ultra thin de- uh, design and premium medical grade silicone oil lubricant ensures a safe and without sacrificing sensation. Woo-hoo. Talk to me. So for Talk 40% me. off your order, which is crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can visit mylola.com and enter regular 40 to get started. So again, that's 40% off your order. Uh, visit mylola.com and enter regular 40. So Hell yeah. I mean, get it. I mean, like, honestly, <clears throat> literally looking up pH levels in your body because I'm crazy and I have nothing else to do. It's crazy how yep. many products we use that throw them off. Like what? Um, well, like, uh, well, these wipes are really great because they are, they have that in mind. But if you grab like a whatever wipe from like the CVS or shoppers right. and you use that, like, you know, that can really mess up with your vision or like, like body wash. It's, it's really crazy to me when you go to buy tampons and they're like scented. Why would you want Like, no, thank you. Exactly. That seems like so bad. Why? And that's why Lola, even like their tampons are great too, because there's a lot of like research about. You know, the bleach and the tampons and like all yeah. that kind of stuff. So it's kind of, we all got to start paying attention to what we put in our, in our little lady. For you know real. What I mean? Yeah. Pr- protect and guard her. God damn it. Guard her. That might be the title of the As if she pod. is Meghan Markle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Guard her. I'm going to start referring to my vagine as my very own Meghan Markle. Oh my God. I love my Meghan Markle. The Markle. Markle. The Markle. Uh, no, but it's so, um. What I do want to talk about about Meghan Markle is her makeup, which I thought yes. was insane. Oh my god, I was just going to say that. Me and you on the same page right now, sister. Uh, hello. I mean, she was a goddamn Glossier ad. Not that she yes. used Glossier. I looked up what they think her makeup was, and the products were pretty amazing. What was it? Or well, I guess you don't have it right in front of you. I just put you on the spot. Oh no, that, I but. can pull it up. But they, I guess she had this like she had this blog called the tig um and so she put on is her that favorite. does that website not work anymore or is it still like up and running i didn't even look i'm wondering if it it's I mean, gonna I'll be look it up right now yeah so she on it talked about her favorite makeup with her makeup artist um Ooh. yeah and one of the things she doesn't like foundation because it covers up her freckles so she right just has amazing skin but um, she loved Laura Mercier's um, Radiant Foundation Primer, which I've used, and it's incredible. Um, okay, so I've ha- I'm on the TIG right now, and this is what it says. To all of my TIG friends, after, clo- after close to three beautiful years in this adventure with you, it's time to say goodbye to the TIG. No way. What began as a passion project, my little engine that could, evolved into an amazing community of inspiration, support, fun, and frivolity. You've made my days brighter and filled with experience with so much and filled my experience with so much joy. Keep finding those TIG moments of discovery. Keep laughing and taking risks and keep being the change you wish to see in the world. Above all, don't ever forget your worth. As I've told you time and time again, you, my sweet friend, you are enough. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, signed by Megan Markle. Crazy. That's it. It's done. Yeah, it's a, it's a cute little layout. There's a bunch of pictures on there, um, I guess, documenting what the TIG was. Um, and now it's done. R.I.P. the TIG, obviously. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, shut her on down. She really takes a great photo. She's quite pretty. She's super pretty. I'm wondering, she obviously slimmed down for the the big day. Oh, yeah. I know those collarbones were popping. Yeah. You know yeah. those collarbones don't pop no more? Me. Oh, working no, on it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, so someone said, what was your secret to shearing out her foundation so that her natural beauty shined through? Like, her skin looked insane. It looked It did so look great. Good. I also really loved that it was just a subtle, light, smoky eye. Amazing. Oh, yeah. So subtle. It said, I prepped her skin with a clarifying toner. It doesn't even say. Water-based moisturizer. Who cares? A Korean sunscreen that also acts as a foundation gripper. So, primer. Balanced and neutralized any discoloration. It, it doesn't even say what it used. Boo. Boo. But it was nice that it was like it she was not makeup y at all. Mm-hmm. Um she she just she fit the bill. Yeah. She fit the bill on that day. She looked fantastic. Um I saw something about like the way that her hair uh came down uh in like the after party or yeah. whatever it was, but I guess it was like designed to be that way. I don't know, I didn't see that. But I loved it. Yeah, she's a babe. She's a freaking babe. Do you how long do you think you tell they're gonna crank out a baby? Well, she's 36. Yeah, so she's got a TikTok. TikTok. Um, I Let's think do it. 
I think it'll be within the year. For sure. Yeah, probably, right? They'd have cute little babies. Oh, yeah, for sure. Very cute little children. Oh, yeah, I'm wondering how long that will take. I'm really surprised how long we spent talking about Meg- Meghan Markle on this podcast. I know. We were like, what are we going to talk about? And I was like, this will take the whole thing. Yeah, no, you're. Uh, yeah, I, when you said that, I was like, no, it'll take about 10 minutes. No, it's been like a majority of the podcast, aside from my long winded story about almost puking on a plane that ended in me not puking. So it was pretty anticlimactic. Sorry. I, mean, I hope people are into it. Um, no, I just thought it was like, I don't know. It's kind of crazy that um, that a woman who was like on a mediocre television yeah. show and lived in Toronto got set up on a blind date with a prince and then like married him within the year. It's funny seeing like the picture. There's like a picture of her sitting outside. Um, I don't know if it's Kensington Palace or Buckingham Palace. I guess it's Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just like her on like a, a vacation trip, like tourists taking a picture. And now she's like married into that family. That's It's very bizarre. Life is bizarre. You never know what's going to come your way. Absolutely. That's it's it's absolutely crazy. And I mean, like she was already married too. Yes, that's right. I'm surprised like that wasn't a rule. Of like me too, but I bet you they're like whatever. He's he's not going to be the king, so that probably true. was like less. But also a little more lenient. Yeah, what's kind of crap is like how women are sort of treated in the royal family a little bit. Like all these rules where it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it. I mean, it is funny, especially like when I was watching The Crown on Netflix and like seeing the stuff that Queen Elizabeth um, has gone through with regards to everything but I mean she has been ruling that roost for so long yeah um that you think that some of that stuff would have been more adaptable but during the show I mean you see uh oh I can't remember what her sister's name is oh I can't remember either um but uh this their sister was like the fun one that wanted to go out and do media and talk a little shit and be fancy and she yeah. drank and partied and whatever where the queen instantly like laced up her bustier and was like ready to start ruling yeah. and had to get very serious about everything. But yeah, you feel like um, it seemed like even watching The Crown, which I, I I feel like that show must be somewhat accurate. Well, it is. I think they're working with someone who was like one of the main. Yeah. And just like people the, or something there. Seeing that- some of like the traditions and stuff that she had to carry on and like whether – uh, you know, it was like even like in regards to her sister wanting to marry the one guy that worked for their family. And she was like, no, girl, you can't do it because he had been divorced. So, yeah, I guess that is a thing. I mean, it's got to be. But I think it's like at some point we have to like we have move to on. we have to move on. We have to evolve. And it's like like yeah. right now she's probably in a million etiquette classes and media classes. And- yes, yeah, she is. She's she's taking Duchess classes. Oh, my God. Woof. I know. Yeah. Woof. What does that even mean? Cur- I just picture it curtsying, figuring out which fork is for what. Yeah, I just, whenever I think of Duchess classes, I just think of Anne Hathaway and Princess Diaries, just getting her it's hair exactly better me. and her eyebrows yes. plucked. Yep, that, that, uh, balancing a book on your head. Like, I feel like it's that kind of shit. Oh, my God. I mean, I would do it in a heartbeat, right, but what are you going to do? Um, I would do it just to see if I could do it, like boot camp style. Oh, Bring me it too. On. I could I, Duchess the shit out of this. I really do think I would take to it, and I think it's something it would that would come easy. But then I, I would, it, I'd want a dirty beer at the end of the day and that would be yeah, the problem. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would want to reward myself with bad food and beer. Um, and I would definitely let a couple uh, swear words slip out. No question. And I'm sure, I'm really wondering what they're like. And you know, behind closed doors as we're all wondering, I don't know. Freaks, they're freaks. They are freaks. Mark my word. Freaks. They get down and dirty. And I'm here for it. I I'm hope here, that one day that I'm we get to hear it. all about it. Oh, I can't wait either. I mean, Some I hope kind it comes out of a book. Ooh, need a memoir. Can't wait for a memoir. Oh, I would read that memoir so hard. Um, And also, I mean, let's just give a quick shout out to Princess Diana, who obviously could yeah. not be there. But I like that. Um, I like that Meghan Markle wore that like aquamarine Love. ring as like a tribute. Yeah, it was really pretty. Uh, it Very was nice. really pretty. Um, really so pretty. Before we wrap it up, should I guess we talk about our last sponsor? Yeah, let's do it. This is one of our faves. One of our faves of all time. Guys, Tula. So yeah. good. So Tula is an amazing skincare company that provides or combines, I should say, probiotics with other key ingredients to address all your skin's needs. So just like we were talking about pH. The probiotics More pH the here. Oh. The theme is pH. Yes, so you already know probiotics are good for your stomach, but did you know that they're also great for your skin? So probiotics are actually the newest breakthrough ingredient in skincare, and Tula is the first brand to make probiotics the foundation of their entire line. 
which is pretty great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, Stacey and I have talked about this before, but I mean, it's one of yes. those products that we love. We love shilling their products because I'm, I love using it. Um, mm-hmm. I actually felt like for a little while I didn't have Tula with me when I was on the road and I was using something else and my skin felt wonky. Yeah. As soon as I got home and put it on, it balanced me right back out again. It's amazing. So they have like some core items that I love, which is the purifying cleanser. It does remove all your makeup and debris without over drying, which is true. My skin never feels yeah. dry now. Um, I love the pro. Is it? glycolic pro glycolic pro, pro, pro there yeah there we go ph resurfacing gel i use this every day and it has um just changed my skin completely uh, and, and any anti-aging stuff Ooh, you're talking my language yes they've got the got the uh, multi-spectrum eye renewal serum it's got caffeine peptides and they provide an instant eye pick me up and uh, there's also the cooling metal applicator that reduces Which I dark love. circles Oh, how much do I love those little like roller applicators are so great. I love it. Um, and then also the um, the volume defense deep wrinkle serum, which reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And uh, I'm, uh, as we say here in regular girls, leaning into it. Oh, leaning far into it. They also have new products. And so um, they have this Kefir ultimate recovery mask and it, it claims that your skin feels amazing after one use. And I was like, yeah, right. I put it on and literally my face is a baby and I made everyone <laughs> touch my face. Um, but it literally after one use, uh, they're insane. And there's also the aqua infusion oil free gel cream. It's like a glass of water for your skin. It's oil free mm-hmm. and an absolutely weightless texture. It's brilliant. It's so good. We're not just saying this. We talk about it so much, so much so that my friend <laughs> Craig, who doesn't, <laughs> Really Craig like, got into it? Craig no, Brown? He was like, are you enjoying your Tula? That's what he oh. said. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about it so much. Uh, um, it's great. My, my whole bathroom is lined up in it currently. Me too. So, uh, me too. It's really, really great. So, um, so what you guys get, uh, for 20% off your purchase, visit Tula.com. That's T-U-L-A dot com uh, and you, uh, slash regular. Tula.com slash regular and enter our promo code, which is regular at the checkout to get 20% off of your purchase. So again, that's 20% off your purchase. Visit Tula.com slash regular and enter our promo code regular and you'll get 20% off your purchase, which is incredible. And Tula is T-U-L-A.com. So good. It's so good. We love them. Love. Uh, Yeah, this this entire podcast has been about Meghan Markle and pH balance. I mean, honestly. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. I think like. We're here letting people know the ins and outs of um, royalty and pHs. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I'm, you know what I'm in kind of the mood for for the next upcoming pods is maybe some conspiracy theories. Ooh, okay, I'm in. Yes, I would love to do that. Um, Maybe next week. Next week, let's do some conspiracy. So why don't you guys send us um, any any new conspiracies you guys can think of, uh, and we will do a little delve research and come on here and spew some uh, conspiracies your way. I got to go ride Barb now to an audition to play a responsible woman. (laughs) (laughs) Um, That's so true. It's so great. I wish I was Well, Good luck to you at your audition. I hope that you nail it. But really, I want you to focus on the movie of the week because that's where we need to put our focus right now. We need to manifest it. Absolutely. Make it happen because, listen – Happen for Meghan Markle. It's going to happen for us. for you. It's going to happen for me. Uh, well, good luck it. with your water venture. And um, thank you. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.